Would you all look at this chart right here? This is global antidepressant users per 1,000 people. Now, look at this. At the, at the top, that is the least, is Korea with 13. 13 people are on antidepressants per 100,000 people in Korea. And you go through it and you find, uh, you know, fantastic places like the Czech Republic. Uh, and they are, what are they? They're at 44. And you go down a little bit further. You go to the United Kingdom, 71. 71 people per 1,000 people are taking antidepressants. And all the way at the bottom, down below Iceland, which I get why people in Iceland take antidepressants. All the way at the bottom, though, is the United States. The good old United States. We win again at 110 people per 100,000. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Go do some research. The studies have come out conclusively over the last couple of years, a big study done out of the UK, in fact, showing that these SSRIs are, in fact, not what they were meant to be, not doing what they thought they would, and didn't have much better results over a placebo. But forget all of that. Forget that the pharmaceutical companies have once again uh, gotten the best of us, conned us into taking meds at a on a massive scale. The United States, the most medicated company or the most medicated country in the world by far, and there is no second place. Forget all of that. Uh, of all of that, set all that aside because it's easy to blame somebody else for your issues. I'm gonna take all that out though. This is what I did beginning last year. The responsibility was mine. So I went to a baseline for me. That's why carnivore diet, because I went to a baseline. I wanted to take every poison out of my body. I wanted to get down to the most basic set of, 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 of inputs relative to what I was eating in my diet. And that's why I went with carnivore. So protein and fat, I tracked it very, very carefully every single day. I know to, that, to this day, I track it, but every single day I knew exactly what was going on in my body and what I was putting into it because I wanted to try to figure out what was wrong with me before I had another heart surgery, before I had another back surgery, before I continued to take even more and more and more and more meds, just like here in this, in this graph. And ultimately, let me tell you what happened. Whatever emotional issues I had, depression issues I might have, um, anxiety issues I might have, stress issues I might have, physical issues without a doubt of which I have many, 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 gone within about four months. I went for a walk every day and I ate protein and fat. And within four months, I cut my meds in half once. And 10 months later, I cut my meds in half again. Six months ago, I cut my meds in half again and got rid of one of the meds that was slowly eating my liver, but keeping my heart from racing. And a month and a half ago, I cut one of my meds meant to slow my heart down by a third because it was slowing my heart down too much. I had become too strong. Take that drug away, heart comes back up to where we want it. So food heals. Medicine does not. Food is medicine. I believe meat and protein, meat, protein and fat is medicine. And I think you should believe that too before you take one of these drugs. I get the drugs are the easy way out. I get how that works on your psyche. I get how that makes it easier for you to live with yourself because you need the drug because I got to have it, right? I have issues. I got anxiety. I have this. I have that. While you're sitting there eating a Big Mac, French fries, and a Coke, and then having a Sunday or eating pizza two, three days a week. But I need my meds, Jerry. I'm telling you, you don't. I'm telling you what you're eating is making you sick. Sick physically and sick mentally. The sooner you learn that, the better. What do you got to lose? Give it a try. Four months, protein and fat. Four months, get rid of sugar and, and, and processed foods. Four months and see how you feel. Just four months. I don't care if you're 75 or you're 25. Give it a try. Do not go on these meds without doing your work first. There is no shortcuts. These meds will take your feet right out from under you, and you'll be addicted for life. And some fat cat at a pharmaceutical company will laugh all the way to the bank. Opportunities are everywhere. You got to go get them. Go for a walk.